everyone. We are back with Glen Velvet Reviews today. And we got this dryer lint attachment accessory kit that we're gonna try out today. We got it for the dryer. My dryer is not that old. I still gotta do reviews on the dryer and stuff like that. But I got this accessory kit. We just got it because we have a lot of pets. Dogs, cats, uh, small animals from what you've seen or you know, whatever. We have a lot of pets, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like over here. And I mean, that's it, there's really nothing in it. Let's uh, open it up. All right, so they do give you a brush in there. We're gonna try this brush out. This is how long the brush is. That's why I like to put, uh, told you guys I like to put the measuring tools inside my reviews just to, so you guys can scale. Um, from the handle up, it's 23 inches. I mean, oh, what am I? Yeah, I am a poopy head, I'm sorry. It is t almost 25 inches, all right, is the, is the total length of this brush. Then they got the two attachments right here. Your vacuum is going to go on here, and then uh, this goes like this. I don't know why they're separated, but that's kind of how it works. This is the name brand of it, whole like me, whole like me. Um, here is the back, the instructions that they give you. If you guys lose yours, like me, I always lose mine. Um, so you guys can, uh, give that a pause and get the instructions. And then here's the, uh, flexible attachment over here. And then this is just supposed to go on here like this, like so. And then this is going to attach to the vacuum. And then you're going to use this part and shove it in, uh, your, your stuff and you're going to clean it all up. You could probably switch around and use both sides, I would think. You know what I mean? Because say there's too many bends and stuff and you have this straight piece, I would want to, you know, put it on here like this and then stick this piece in there instead because this will bend, you know, around the corner and stuff, right? So let's try this thing out and see what's up. We're going to give it a test, the review on it. I uh, cleaned out the vacuum cleaner. I We're using the Shark instead of the central vacuum because uh, that's, I think, the central vacuum, the piping, I think it's going to be too hard to tell, you know, the amount of how much this is going to be pulling out, all right? Um, so let's see, uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, forgot to see how long this is. So this is, this total uh, goes to 32 inches, this piece. And then, you know, if you're going to put all of it together, you know, this is like an estimate, give or take, you know, don't, you know, take it for whatever. And then the entire thing is uh, about 43 uh, inches in length. All right. So let's do this together, right, guys? Let's take this out. Now you're going to want to make sure this is going to be clean. Um, but this should already be clean. I'm not really going to vacuum this, like this part, because you should be taking this out and cleaning it. I'm just going to focus on this uh, tool. The, the reason for this tool is to go in the machine. The vent, you're supposed to be cleaning every day. If you don't clean your vent every day, then that's a big problem on you because that can start a fire or something. All right, but in the instructions, guys, they do not tell you how to use the brush or whatever. Um, you know, I, I can't do nothing about that. Uh, the brush, we're going to try to use it. First, we're going to vacuum. Uh, what I would do is first vacuum like the chunky stuff out because if you're going to use this brush It's everything's going to stick to this and then you're going to have to vacuum it and be playing games I don't want to play games with big chunks on here, right and be wasting time You guys are wasting time. So instead I would vacuum it first with the hose then use this and then vacuum it again uh, This way you're not cleaning this and you're going to get a deeper clean that way and loosen everything up. All right Let's uh, let's see how this is going to go. So unlock. Now how they have it is, yeah, it's going to go on here just like this. Very simple. Uh, it seems like it fits a bunch of different sizes or whatever. Because Shark Kai, the Shark vacuum has a weird size. If you guys seen my other videos, I had to custom make, um, you know, a shark um, spitting or whatever. And that didn't work out as planned. It was a pain in the butt. All right, so we're going to turn this on. We're going to see it. Oh, so what I did was just to show you guys what I did do. I did clean out the container. The container, this looks cloudy because it's scratched. Uh, but I did clean out this entire container so we can see exactly how much, you know, is going to accumulate here and see what's up. All right, guys, let's try this thing out and see how much we can suck out of this thing. All right, we're going to do it with the way they said. They say you can't swap it around, and I think that's because it'll crimp this. But whatever, let's give this a try.
All right, uh, that was, uh, like I said, we're just cleaning out the front because I'm figuring you're going to be at your house like me and be cleaning just the front of this. Um, you know, the back of it, you're going to be doing, you know, most likely you're going to have someone do that. Or if you do it yourself, uh, you know, the vent outside or whatever, you're going to be, you're not going to do that all the time. I do recommend doing that, but you, you do that like once a year or like once every so often, you know, depending on your setup and what kind of vent system you have on it. But this one you have to clean every single day. Uh, this vent system, um, you know, and a lot of stuff goes in, down in there and people kind of forget uh, That's the reason why I wanted to you know, just show you guys me using this and seeing what's up But like I said ours is only probably like six months. Maybe it, no, okay, probably about a year old. It's like a year old um, So you can't expect that much of it, uh, but you could see the brush came out pretty clean uh, It wasn't that bad and after I did the initial first clean this got in there, but remember, mine is like this. I do not know where your vent is. Your vent trap might be in the top. So this goes in, like I said, mine only went in like that. You saw how much it goes in, just so you guys know and you know know what's going on. You know, playing around, all right? Um, but uh, as you saw, I liked it better using it this way. They said you can't use it that way inside the instructions. You probably just have to be careful in the way you're using it, but I felt I got a lot deeper, uh, you know, when I got into there. So let's see how much crap that we got out. So let's see, uh, let's see how much we got here. All right, I think that's a good amount. I mean, like I said, mine's a year old. You can't expect it. If your dryer is gonna be five years old, but I have a lot of pets too. So, you know what I mean? Um, but we do clean our uh, vent every day, but this is just nice to get in there. It gives it more efficiency, you know what I mean? Because remember, you know how your dryer works, guys. There's a thermostat in there, uh, you know, a thermometer, thermostat, whatever. Um, you know, it senses the temperature. When it gets up to a certain amount, it shuts it off. And if you have a lot of insulation in there, what happens is um, if, if you have a lot in there, a lot of this stuff in there over time, if you're blocking only even 10% of it, 15%, you're still overall, after using it for a while, ruining the efficiency of it, you know what I mean? Because it can't heat up that much. If you have all this lint in there and it can't get rid of the heat, what happens is, say the dryer reaches, I don't know, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just throwing, say it reaches 200 degrees, okay, in temperature, then it, you know, it cycles on and off. If you have the, all this stuff in the vent and it can't get rid of that wet moisture, it's gonna keep that 200 degree wet moisture inside of the dryer. And all it's gonna do is just tell the dryer, oh, it's 200 degrees, shut it off. You know what I mean? And then it's just gonna take longer for the clothes to dry, all right? Because there's a bunch of safeties on these units. So this way your house doesn't go on fire. That's the reason why all that's gonna happen is it's just gonna take a longer time for it to dry and you waste more electricity or gas or whatever that way, all right? But I think a decent amount came out for only that much. Like I said, I showed you guys how to use it. It's still good, even if that was a small amount, at least once a year to do it. I mean, I don't say do it every time, but at least once a year you can get a good cleaning, especially if you got animals in your house. All right, all right, everyone. That's it for Glenn Velvet Reviews on, like I said, a little review of this that we got for the dryer, cleaning it out, how much I got out of it and how much you know how to use it and if it's gonna work for you or whatever if you have any questions or comments please post them down below I would love to know also subscribe to my channel join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help from the community all right and if you can unless you dislike me for any reason you can support the channel by cl clicking on the affiliate links below somehow some way times a million they equal up into something but from what I saw, there are other ways to support the channel on YouTube, which is really cool. And if you do decide to support the channel, please make sure you check back, see that I am putting that support back into the channel, getting more stuff to review, doing updates on the, on the items that I review if they break, and also answering questions to my subscribers and helping them out on the items that I am reviewing. All right, so everybody enjoy. Be safe. I am out. Bye-bye.